I was watching this interview that Snoop Dogg had on his channel with Martin Lawrence. And this is not the first time I've noticed, but Martin is not the same Martin that we know. I completely understand that they say that Martin had a stroke, but something happened before that stroke took place. Martin Lawrence is not the same. He's got this faraway look. He seems extremely slow. Now this could be as a result of that stroke, but something else is in play. What did they do to Martin Lawrence? Now this is an old article that came out in 1996 before Martin Lawrence had his stroke. Now Martin Lawrence is much younger than myself and I'm sure that there's young people out there that's having strokes, that's having heart attacks, that's having old people's curse because it's not a blessing to have a stroke or a heart attack. It's an indication that either something is wrong in your DNA or you're not taking properly care, proper care of your temple. Now I'm going to read a portion of this article with you guys and then you can go and check it out for yourself. Now the video is also attached to this article and you guys can go watch it in its entirety. But I just find it quite interesting that Martin is not the same Martin that we know. Now, something happened when he had an alleged breakdown. And I'm going to read some of the things that he was recorded or someone gave an account of some things that he was saying when he ran out with that gun. Now, as it reads, it says, Comic Martin Lawrence was found wandering in a busy Los Angeles street yesterday, a loaded handgun in his pocket, yelling, acting like a madman, authorities and witnesses say. The You So Crazy star was plucked from the intersection by cops, hospitalized, and released to his doctor, who said Lawrence had failed to take prescribed medication and had suffered a seizure, according to police. Now, pay close attention to what's being said. He takes, he failed to take prescribed medication and has suffered a seizure according to police. But a publicist statement issued later quoted Lawrence's doctor, William Young of Cedars Sinai Medical Hospital as saying, the star was suffering from complete exhaustion and dehydration. Completely different than what we just got done reading prior to this statement. Cedar Sinai spokesman Ron Wise said last night that Lawrence had been admitted into a regular medical ward there in a fair condition. Ask about the police statement that Lawrence had stopped taking some sort of medication, Wise said. I don't know anything about that. The broady 30-year-old star of Fox TV, Martin, quipped, always told everybody they'd be coming for me someday. I always told everybody they'd be coming 
for me someday. As cops were about to grab him, sources said. So who did Martin feel that was coming for him? Now, it's easy for a celebrity to stand up and say that um, it's just a conspiracy theory when people talk about the Illuminati and how Hollywood, the things that's going on in Hollywood. But then when you have someone like Martin Lawrence, and this just didn't happen to Martin Lawrence, but also Dave Chappelle, where Dave Chappelle had to run to Africa. And he had the same issues that Martin Lawrence had. A toxicology report just came back regarding Prince. And they were talking about the drugs that he had in his system. If I find that article, I post it on the bottom. But the same thing that was in Michael Jackson was also in Prince. So they not only came for Michael Jackson, but they came for Prince. They came for Dave Chappelle. They came for Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence is not the same. Police did not say whether the handgun was licensed, but said authorities were considering filing misdemeanor charges against the Queen's rear TV and movie star for carrying a concealed weapon. Witnesses and cops said Lawrence ran into the bustling intersection of Tyrone Ave and Ventura Boulevard, the main drag of the Sherman Oaks neighborhood about 12.30 p.m. and began yelling at passing cars. Check this out, and I'm going to end this article. You guys can read it for yourself. He was yelling, fight, you know, don't give up. Fight the power or something like that, witnesses Aaron Bird told Los Angeles KCAL TV. He was shouting some obscenities or something. The police were forcibly putting their arms around him, like trying to hold him down because he was fighting so much and yelling. He was like a madman. I was like, that's Martin Lawrence. I couldn't believe it. Police took Lawrence to Sherman Oaks Hospital before he was released to his doctor and admitted to Cedar Sinai. Then it says the star of the new movie, A Thin Line Between Love and Hate, frequently has raised eyebrows for his sexually explicit stand up act. But he said his marriage last year to former Miss Virginia USA Patricia Southall and the birth of their daughter Jasmine, now three months old, was mellow, has mellowed him. And this is where I end this. I am more conscious of what I do, Lawrence said in an interview last month. I'll be more conscious around her, my daughter. And that's where I'm going to end it. Now, I'm going to put this article in the bottom. You guys can read it for yourself. But Martin is not the same. Now, I've read where he allegedly had a stroke. But why was he running and yelling that he knew that they were coming for him one day? Martin Lawrence is not the same. And what type of medication did they have? Martin on. So feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe. Until next time. Peace.